Let's do some archery. I love archery. Let's see now. There's a wind from the right. The controls for archery are pretty simple. Just click up to aim upwards, down to aim downwards. You can also go left and right. In order to fire an arrow, just click on an arrow, then move your mouse down and let go of the mouse. Looks like I need to aim a little bit farther to the right. Now the farther back you pull down the arrow, the higher up the arrow will be. So it looks like I don't want to pull back all the way. Maybe I'll just pull back some of the way, like here. Oh no, 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 that, 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 that was me not pulling back far enough. Okay, let's try here. Oh, jeez, that was awful. Um, here? Oh, okay. Yeah! Halfway there. Hello, Jane. Nice shot. That means a lot coming from you, Mr. Radcliffe. This is one of my favorite spots, but it doesn't look like it will be long before you're giving me serious competition. No, oh, it's Mr. Radcliffe, the handsome gentleman with the tousled hair. We can talk to him about a lot of things. Let's start by talking about the bandits. Yesterday afternoon, I took the opportunity to ride to Shepherd Forest. That is where the highwayman struck three days ago. While I was there, I found the small dagger with a fleur de lis. Could I see that? I think this, without a doubt, proves the rogues are French. I agree completely. There's also the fact that they were speaking fluent French. So, yeah, we've got French bandits! Sacre bleu! I had the occasion to ride to the Ramsford Bridge and found something that might help us discover more about the highwaymen. What was that? I found sawdust where I believe the bandits weakened one of the planks which caused the coach to stop. That is certainly interesting. That would mean they are more organized than I thought. I can't help but think there may be more to these robberies than meets the eye. You may be right, but there again, it may just be ruffians looking for easy access to riches. I suppose. Only time will tell. I'll wager you didn't come all the way over here today just to watch me practice archery. You know me too well. How is Miss Allen this day? No, oh, Miss Allen will be doing fantastically when she sees your gorgeous face. I haven't had the chance to see her yet. But as soon as she discovers that you are here, I am sure she will be exceptional. Miss Allen always brightens my day. If there was just a way. Love always finds a way, Mr. Radcliffe. I know that you care dearly for Miss Allen. There must be a way forward for both of you. It is a hope, but in the end, only wishful thinking. I know that if Clement were to control my estate, the first thing he would do is clear the forest and sell the wood. He has always placed his pleasure first, which has led to the dissipation of his own funds. I can't imagine in what state the tenants would find themselves. If it were only about me, the decision would be easy. At this point, it seems we are at the mercy of Providence. But I would not give up hope. Yeah, you need to fight for love. What's his first name again? Does he have a first name? Can I call him Raddy? Raddy Radcliffe? Yeah, that's his first name now. Raddy Radcliffe. I should get back to my practice. Would you mind if I took a turn? <laughs> well, you're obviously not going to be as good as me. I mean, I just got a bullseye on my third try. Not at all. Ah! Oh! Show I off. Good. You are as good a shot as ever. I don't believe anyone could best you at archery. Thank you. It has always been something that comes naturally to me, and I truly enjoy it. If you'll excuse me, I believe I will go check and see if Miss Allen is about. Okay, well, uh, see you later, Ratty. I am sure she will be prepared to receive visitors, especially if the visitor is you. You do me a great kindness. I will see you later. Take care. I love archery. Let's see now. Yeah. From the left. Ratty is kind of a show-off when it comes to archery. Okay, so there's a wind to the left, meaning I want to aim a little bit to the left. Done! Okay, we're done with archery, and I don't think we have any other chores, so let's go to Martha and tell her that we want to go horseback riding. Unless I'm mistaken, we're going to have a surprise while we're out horseback riding. Oh yeah, and let's talk to Aunt Catherine. How are you doing? Just fine. I am 
understand that Clement took a week complete at Bath while we were in London. That is my understanding also, but I have it reliably, that the assemblies of the lower rooms at the bottom of the orange grove are now quite unfashionable and poorly attended. I have no idea what they're talking about. I have heard the same but that fancy cotillions of the new rooms have captured all the beauty and fashion to be found at Bath. I am sure that it was there you would have found Clement. Of that we can be certain. At the least, he would have been fashionably lounging there. We know Clement too well. Be seeing you. Take care. So Clement spent the week at Bath. Maybe he should switch to taking a shower instead. I mean, that is a really, really long bath. Now, I am told that there is a faster way around. If you double click, you move faster. I'll try that out. I'll try that out. I don't know if that's the case. What's this? Oh, oh my, this is homework for us. Oh, oh, I suppose we have to do homework before we can go horseback riding. Let's see, I'll tell Martha to bring the horse. Martha? Martha? Did you ring, miss? Yes. Martha, will you have the groom ready my horse? I plan to do some riding. Yes, miss. Great, so we can go horseback riding. Great, I'll do our homework later. So let me try the double clicking. Is this moving any faster? Let's see. Um, kind of faster, maybe? Hmm, in any case, the way to finish the homework is to go over here and read the book about the kings of England like King William the Conqueror, William Rufus, Henry Beauclerc, Stephen of Blois, Henry Kurtmantle, Richard de Lionheart, John Lackland, Henry of Winchester, Edward Longshanks. His shanks were not short, they were long. Edward of Caernarfon. Knarf, Caernarfon. Yes, that's him, all right. Mm-hmm, yes, indeed. Clement, how do you fare this fine day? You look busy. As usual. Busy doing what? Nothing? What do you think of the trouble the highwaymen have been causing? Dreadful and distressing. Something must be done about it, and I'm just the one to take action. Action? Are you going to do something? Action? What do you propose? I'm going to put together a sternly worded poem and send it to the Prince Regent. That will get things moving. Ah, okay. Helpful indeed. Only you would have thought of that. Yes, I am a genius and a man of action. Yeah. Be seeing you. Yeah, he's gonna write a poem. My dear Princey Prince, there are bandits on the loose. Um, uh, a type of animal is a moose. Please get rid of the bandits right away, maybe by next Thursday. Yours sincerely, Clement the Awesome Poet. <laughs> okay, ah, I, I, I think that's that's happened. what he would write. He, he'd write something along those lines. So here's the thing we're looking for. I believe it is by one of these signs. Not by one of these signs, so let's go to Lambton. And here we go, right by this sign we have... What's this? It looks like someone has lost their baggage. It's a lost a coach bag. Is headed to the inn. Perhaps Kitty will recognize this bag. Okay, so we're going to give the bag to Kitty and see if she recognizes it. Oh, hey, there's a random dude here. Check it out. There's actually somebody eating food here. Awesome. Oh, oh wow, that's cool. 